So I'm walking in the, I'm walking, I'm going shopping, and this young guy, maybe 16, 17, looks like a breast of a chassid in jeans and just an undershirt. Okay? Chassidish kid in jeans and an undershirt and sneakers. Totally looks off the derech, like chassidish kids don't get dressed like that. Walks over to me and says, No, Tzedakah, like Shabbos. I'm like, No way. I am not giving him money for drugs and cigarettes and drink. I, no way. I'm not giving this guy. He's 16 years old. Go work. You know, like, what, what, what are you bothering me? He doesn't let go of me. He's holding on to my jacket. No. Sadaka, what, you want your kids to be like me? Sadaka. I'm like, well, you cr- like, what? Get out of here. Leave me alone. I'm like, he, he crosses the street with me. He doesn't let go. So I'm getting a little bit angry. And I, I turn to him and say, listen, Shefalo. I am not giving you money for drugs. I'm not giving you money for cigarettes. That's not what I'm doing. I said, there are other people here collecting for food. I'm going to give, I'm, going, I'm not. So he says to me, well, then why don't you just buy me some food? So when he says that to me, I'm like, aha, this kid is really smart. Buy him food, he'll sell the food, take the cash, buy the cigarettes. Not a silly guy, right? So I said, I work with kids like you. I told him in the writ. I work with kids like you. I'm not giving you money for the stuff that you're not supposed to be using. He says, really? You don't believe me? Call my mother. I'm like, okay. Now we're going to find out what's going on over here. Okay. What's your mother's number? Doesn't have a phone on him. Gives me his mother's number. I'm like, yeah, his mother. We'll see if it's his mother. I call, rings, 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 rings. No answer, no messages. I said, sorry, can't help you, no one answered. Okay, call my father. What's your father's number? Um, um, uh, nine, no, no, Se- seven, I'm like, yeah, okay. The guy, the guy doesn't know his father's number. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna try to weasel money out of me? I mean, hello. I right, well, he wasn't born yesterday. How can you not know your father? I said, how do you not know your father's number? It's usually on my phone, but I don't have my phone. I'm like, just leave me alone, man. Why, you know, leave me alone. There's some poor people, and I'm not a stingy guy. I give out a lot of money on, on my trip to poor people that I know that they need the money. This guy's a young guy. So he finally gets it. He goes, okay, it's da 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 I call. We'll make up his name. I'll make up a name. His name is Avi, right? Cool. Man answers the phone. Shalom. I'm like, Ze Abba Shal Avi. My bench Ka Avi. Ken. So this kid says to me, Midabe being lit, to Midabang lit. I'm like, is your son Avi? He goes, yes. And I'm like, what's the deal? Is he collecting for food? Or is he collecting for drugs? Says, I have I have I'm in Kolel. I have nine boy, nine children. We have no food on the table at all. And Avi goes out every Friday. Now again, he doesn't look like a from kid. He looks like a kid that's a rebel, right? Avi goes out every Friday, and he raises the money, is what the father's telling me. And he raises the money for the family, for the food, for the whole family. I'm like, you're sure about this? He says, my Avi is very, very special. Whatever, it sounds a little, little bit of dysfunctional family, whatever it is. He says, but I'm telling you that he brings home the food for Shabbos for his whole family every Friday. I said, Avi, I hung up the phone, he says, no. What did he say? I said, how come your father speaks English? He says, my father is an American, he's about tshuva. My mother is about tshuva. And I don't know how, how they say it, Kylo guy, there's an Ivrit word for it. He's, um... Whatever, he's in Kolel, and he doesn't work. And, huh? And Avreich, he's in Avreich. So I didn't say anything to him about, like, why don't you go to work? I never said that. I don't, I don't say that to people. And then he says to me, and by the way, you should just know that I go to this and this yeshiva. He told me the name of the yeshiva. He says, and I clean the toilets and the floors and the kitchen, and I get paid 500 shekel a week. I get, a fa- I get 2,000 shekel a month, and I give it to my mother to help pay them for the bills. And I'm like, says the Mishnah, right, what did I read that morning? 
Don't be a singular judge. Right? Why? Because she ain't done the only one that has a right to judge anyone is God. <laughs>